peace. All praise and glory to the mighty most high, the spirit of truth, the omnipotent force that moves all things in place, the all you can see and all you cannot see, the visible and invisible, the all, the almighty, the almighty one. Praises to the creator. Praises to all those that serve one God. We're here at Numbers 26, the second census. And what have I told you a census is? A census is the very beginning of tracking. You understand? The government has always wanted to track our movement. Know who we are, where we are, where we live, what we're doing. They're watching us. You just didn't realize they're watching us at such a a profound level. And now they're using these devices, the computers, the smartphones. They're tracking every move you make, every click you make. They're tracking you. And that's the census. Okay, after the plague, the Lord said to Moses and Eleazar, son of Aaron, the priest, take a census of the whole Israelite community by families. After all, I've just killed 24,000 of them. So let's take another census. And those 20, year old, those 20 years old or more who are able to serve in the army of Israel. So on the plains of Moab, by the Jordan across from Jericho, Moses and Eleazar, the priests, spoke with them and said, Take a census of the men, twenty years, or old, twenty years old or more, as the Lord commanded Moses. So, again, this, this Lord, this creator, this something that is being used is having you create, taking your young, twenty years or old, and placing them in positions to die. I'm trying to I'm trying to wrap my mind around the God of this Bible, Yahweh, who's supposed to be a righteous, upright God. Now I understand that the Gentiles are are by all standards of the Bible and the laws that have been written are a corrupted race. They're a corrupted they're broken. They're they're made crooked. That's the only way that I could say it. Here, let me show you. Ecclesiastics chapter seven verse thirteen Bible home. Wow, that was like moving like a snake, huh? Slow. Consider the works of God. Who can straighten what he has made what he has bent? Who can do that? I like a few of these others over here. Consider the works of God who can make straight what he has made crooked. That's my favorite one. So you got to understand that something was created crooked. Intentionally created crooked. Okay. Why? What's this battle? Why is one God wanting to create one creation and kill another creation? Okay. Because I'm trying to explain to people in the creation story that the God that is the first God that is used here, if you can wrap your head around understanding that just because the word God exists doesn't mean it's the supreme creator. Genesis chapter 1 verse 1 Bible Hub. This God here is used. Okay? It is not the supreme it is used. It's right there. I didn't write this Bible. I don't put this stuff in the Bible. I didn't, I'm not a curator of the scriptures or all that that has been written. I don't know how to translate from the tablets into a book, into writings and stuff. All we know is what we're taught and what's put before us. So discernment is needed. This here is Elohim. 430 in the Strong's Concordance, and it's a plural. And plural, folks, means many, okay? Plural means many of Eloah, gods. That's why you have an S on the end of gods. And this gods, lowercase gods, is the same as this uppercase god. God Elohim is the same right here. G-O-D-S and G-O-D are the exact same meanings. So this is where you're getting other gods. But what you got to understand 
is everything, everything, good and evil, is to the glory of this supreme creator. I try to stay away from calling the supreme creator God because God spelled backwards is a dog and the God of this world is the dog. Okay? This God here is used, which means that it was permitted. Okay? These were the Israelites who came out of Egypt. The descendants of Reuben, the firstborn son of Israel, were through Hanak, the Hanakite clan, through Palu, the Paluliite clan, through Hezron, the Hezronite clan, through Carmi, the Carmenite clan, Carmi, Carmen, Carm, Karma. These were the clans of Reuben. Those numbers were 43,730. The sons of Palu was Eliab, El Eliab, and the sons of Eliab were Numel, Numiel, Dathan, and Abiram. The, sam the same Dathan and Abiram were the community officials who rebelled against Moses and Aaron and were among Korah's followers when they rebelled against the Lord. So now you have men of Israel, your own clansmen, that are rebelling against the Lord. The earth opened its mouth and swallowed them along with Korah, whose followers died when the fires devoured them, devoured the 250 men. Notice these numbers are kind of small. And they have served as a warning sign. The line of Korah, however, did not die out. The descendants of Simeon by their clans were through Numiel and the Numielite clan, through Jamin, the Jaminite clan, through Jakin, Jakin, the Jakinite clan, through Zerah, the Zerahite clan, through Sheal, the Shualite clan, these were the clans of Simeon. Those numbered were 22,200. There's a six right there for you. The descendants coming up here, seven, seven, six, ten, seven, fourteen, fourteen, seventeen. Okay, nothing there. The descendants of Gad by their clans were through Zephon, the Zephonite clan, through Haggai, the Haggite clan, through Shunai, the Shunite clan, through Oznai, the Oznite clan, through Eri, or Eri, the Erite clan, through Eridai, the Erodite clan, through Areli, the Erolite clan. These were the clans of Gad. Those numbered were 40,500. Er, the Onan, were son of Judah, but they died in Canaan. The descendants of Judah by their clans were through Sheila, the Shelanite clan, through Perez, the Perezite clan, through Zerah, the Zerahite clan. The descendants of Perez were through Zeron, the Heronite clan, through Hamol, the Humalite clan. These were the clans of Judah. Those numbers were 76,500. The descendants of Asakar by their clans were through Tola, the Tolanite clan, through Pua, the Puite clan, through Jashub, the Jashubite clan, through Shimon, Shimron, the Shimronite clan. These were the clans of Eshikar. Those numbered were 64,300. The descendants of Zubalun by their clans were through Sered, the Seredite clan through Elon, Elonite clan. Hmm, Elon. Wow, well, just wow. I didn't realize like Elon Musk, that stinky rotten lion sack of shit. The Elonite clan through Jahil, the Jahilite clan. These were the clans of Zubalin. Those numbered were 60,500. The descendants of Joseph by their clan through Manasseh and Ephraim were the descendants of Manasseh through Machir, the Machirite clan. Machir was the father of Gled from Gled, the Gledite clan. 
These were the descendants of Galid, Galid, through Lezer, the Lezerite clan, through Helek, the Helekite clan, through Ashrael, the Ashrealite clan, through Shechem, the Shechemite clan, through Shemida, the Shemidahite clan, through Hepner, the Hepnerite clan. Zelophehad, son of Hefer, had no sons. He had only daughters whose names were Mala, Noah, Hagla, Milka, and Terzah. These were the clans of Manasseh. Those numbered were 52,700. These were the descendants of Ephraim by their clans through Shuthalah, the Shuthalite clan, through Becker, the Beckerite clan, through Tahan, the Tahanite clan, these were the descendants of Shutalah, through Aaron, the Aaronite clan. These were the clans of Ephraim, the numbers were in 32,500. These were the descendants of Joseph by the clans. The descendants of Benjamin by their clans were through Bela, the Belaite clan, through Ashabel, the Ashabelite clan, through Aharam, the Aharamite clan, through Shufam, the Shufanite clan, Shufamite clan, through through Jufam, the Jufamite clan, through Hufam, the Hufamite clan. The descendants of Bela through Ard and Naaman were through Ard, the Ardite clan, through Nahum, the Naamite clan. These were the clans of Benjamin. Those numbered were 45,600. These were the descendants of Dan by their clans, through Shuham, the Shuhamite clan. These were the clans of Dan. All the men were Shuhamite clans, and those numbered were 64,000. 400. The descendants of Asher by their clans were through Imna, the Imnite clan, through Ishvi, the Ishvinite clan, through Bera, Beriah, the Berite clan, and through the descendants of Beriah, through Heber, the Heberite clan, through Malkiel, the Malkielite clan. Asher had a daughter named Shura. These were the clans of Asher. Those numbered were 53,400. The descendants of Natali by the clans were through ja, Yaziel, the Yazielite clan, through Gunai, the Gunite clan, through Jezer, the Jezerite clan, through Shilam, the Shimelite clans. These were the clans of Naphtali. Those numbered were 45,400. The total number of the men of Israel was 601,730. The Lord said to Moses, The land is to be allotted to them as an inheritance based on the number of names. To a larger group, give larger inheritance, and to a smaller group, Smaller one, each is to receive its inheritance according to the number of those listed. Be sure that the land is distributed by lot. What each group inherits will be according to the name for its ancestral tribe. Each inheritance is to be distributed by lot among the larger and smaller groups. These were the Levites who were counted by their clans. Through Gershon, the Gershonite clan, through Kohath, the Kothanite clan, through Merari, the Merarite clan. These also were Levite clans, the Libnite clans, the Hebronite clans, the Malite clans, the Mushite clans, the Korite clans. Korath was the forefather of Amram. The name of Amram's wife was Jochebed, and the descendants of Levi, who was born to the Levites in the Egypt, in Egypt, to Amram she bore Aaron, Moses's, and their sisters Miriam. 
Aaron was the father of Nab Nadab and Abihu, Elizar and Ithamar, but Nadab and Abihu died when they made an offering before the Lord with an unauthorized fire. Unauthorized fire offering. All the male Levites, a month old or more, numbered 23,000. They were not counted along with the other Israelites because they received no inheritance among them. These are the ones who counted by Moses and Eleazar, the priests, when they counted the Israelites on the plains of Moab by the Jordan across from Jericho. Not one of them was among those counted by Moses and Aaron, the priests, when they counted the Israelites in the desert of Sinai. For the Lord had told those Israelites they would surely die in the wilderness, and not one of them was left except Caleb, son of Jephunneh, and Josiah, son of Nun. Here, Moses, for the Lord had told those Israelites they would surely die in the wilderness. Hmm, that's, that's kind of off. I thought that he had an everlasting covenant with the children of Israel. Maybe if somebody with a little more wisdom than me could share with what that means if somebody listened to this reading. Anyways, all praise and glory to the mighty Most High, the Spirit of Truth, the Living One. May he place his spirit on you, the living one, the omnipotent force that moves all things in place so that you may find truth and discernment in the scriptures. This is White Raptor News Ministries.